Good morning, boys and girls. And just like I promised yesterday, today we're going to work on lesson 62. Don't forget that because it is Tuesday, you have to turn in lesson 62 today. Okay? So listen, let's do our first exercise. I'm going to ask questions about a woman and a wagon. Everybody, can a woman write with the wagon? Get ready. No, very good. Say the statement. Get ready. Yes, a woman cannot write with the wagon. Very good. Now, can a woman pull a wagon? Get ready. She sure could. Now, say the statement. Get ready. Yes, a woman can pull a wagon. Now, your turn. Make up another statement that tells something a woman can do with the wagon. Get ready? Yes, very good. A woman can get on a wagon. Say the statement. Get ready? Yes, a woman can get on a wagon. Now it's your turn. Make up a statement that tells something a woman cannot do with the wagon. Get ready? Very good. A woman cannot fly with the wagon. See the statement. Get ready? Beautiful work. Very good, boys and girls. Now listen. Our next exercise we're going to get ready to play detectives and find out what I am thinking of. I'll give you two clues. It's an animal and it lives on a farm. Say the two things we know about the object. Get ready? Very good. It's an animal and it lives on a farm. Very good. Those clues don't tell you enough to find the right animal. They could tell you about lots of animals. See how many animals you can name that live on a farm. Get ready. Beautiful work. Yes, we have pigs, chickens, goats, cows, horses, so many animals. Now listen, here's another clue about finding the right animal I am thinking of. It lays eggs. Now, say that. Get ready? It lays eggs, beautiful. Now here are the three things we know about the object. It's an animal, it lives on a farm, it lays eggs. Now say the three things we know. Get ready? Very good boys and girls. Now think and tell me, which animal am I thinking of? Get ready? Yes, a chicken. Beautiful work, boys and girls. Let's do another quick celebration for today. Let's do mango. Ready? And we peel the mango, peel, peel the mango, and do the tango, do, do the tango, and freeze. Guys, and now we're on to our third exercise of the day. I'm going to say sentences that answer questions. One of the questions is why? Listen. Yesterday, Liz stayed home so she could help her mother. Say the sentence. Get ready? Yes, yesterday, Liz stayed home so she could help her mother. Very good. Now, who stayed home? Get ready? Yes, Liz. Very good. And what did Liz do? Get ready? stayed home. Now when did Liz stay home? Get ready? Yesterday. Now why did Liz stay home? Get ready? Yes, to help her mother. Where did Liz stay? Get ready? Home. Very good. Now say the whole sentence again. Get ready. 
Very good. Yesterday, Liz stayed home so she could help her mother. Now, which words tell who stayed home? Get ready? Liz. Which words tell where Liz stayed? Get ready? Home. Very good. Which words tell when she stayed at home? Get ready? Yesterday. And which words tell why she stayed home? Get ready? To help her mother. Beautiful. Last one. Which words tell who she helped? Get ready? Her mother. Very good, boys and girls. Let's do another quick celebration. That was a tough one, but you guys rocked it. Let's do shake it. Ready? And we shake it to the front, shake it to the back, shake it to the front, shake it to the back, do the worm, do the worm, and dab, 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 freeze. Girl, so our new opposites have been getting tougher, but you guys have been doing so awesome. We're going to go over some opposites again today. Listen, the opposite of under is over. What's the opposite of under? Get ready. Over. Very good. What's the opposite of over? Get ready. Under. Very good. Listen, the opposite of wild is tame. What's the opposite of wild? Get ready. Tame. Very good. A tiger is wild. A puppy is tame. Very good. What's the opposite of tame? Get ready. Wild. Very good. You're going to make up statements that have the opposite word. Listen, the fox was wild. Say the statement. Get ready. Very good. Now say the statement that tells the opposite about the fox. Get ready. Yes, the fox was tame. Very good. Listen, the bird flew under the bridge. Say the statement. Get ready. Very good. Now say the statement that tells the opposite about where the bird flew. Get ready. Yes, the bird flew over the bridge. New sentence. The girls finished before the boys finished. Say the statement. Get ready. Yes, the girls finished before the boys finished. Now say a statement that tells the opposite about when the girls finished. Get ready. Yes, the girls finished after the boys finished. Very good. Last sentence. The leather was rough. Say the statement. Get ready. Beautiful work. Now say a statement that tells the opposite about the leather. Get ready. Yes, the leather was smooth. Very good, boys and girls. Let's celebrate with firecracker. Ready? And let's light it up. And peace. Just like that, boys and girls, we're on to our calendar facts. Now listen, how many days are in a week? Get ready? Seven. Perfect. Say the seven days of the week. Get ready? Perfect work. Now, how many weeks are in a year? Get ready? 52. Perfect. Say the fact. Get ready? Yes, there are 52 weeks in a year. Perfect. Now, how many days 
are in the year. Let's get ready. Yes, 365, so many days. Say the fact. Get ready. Yes, there are 365 days in a year. Perfect work. Now think, how many seasons are in a year? Get ready. There's four, very good. Say the four seasons. Get ready. Perfect. Winter, spring, summer, and fall. Now think again, how many months are in a year? Get ready. Yes, there's 12. Say the 12 months of the year. Get ready. Whoa, so many. Very good, boys and girls. Now think, yesterday was Monday. What day is it today? Get ready. Tuesday, beautiful work. Now, what day of the week will it be tomorrow? Get ready. Wednesday, very good. Yes, today is Tuesday. Tomorrow will be Wednesday. Very good. Now, boys and girls, what is today's date? Get ready. Yes, Tuesday, May 12th. Very good, boys and girls. Kiss your brain. Kiss your brain. Throw some glitter and make it rain. Girls, and now we are on to our workbook part of the ex of the lesson. Um, make sure you are on lesson 62. It looks like this. Okay, don't forget name, date, and goal because that doesn't, if you don't write that on there, we have to take off points. So remember name, date, and goal. And let's get started. So boys and girls, today we're going to talk about Paul and Clarabelle. This is a new story about Paul and Clarabelle, but we don't know the ending. Maybe you can help us make up the ending if you remember how Clarabelle thinks. So listen, here is the story. One day, Paul painted his ladder pink and purple. He took a lot of time painting it. When he was done, he said, that's perfectly perfect. The ladder had pink rungs and purple rungs. The sides of the ladder were also pink and purple. Paul said, now this ladder is perfect for picking purple plums. So he put the ladder against his purple plum tree and picked plenty of purple plums. When he had all the plums he could carry, he took them inside. Well, Paul didn't know it, but Clarabelle was watching him. She saw him go up that ladder and pick those plums, and she said to herself, I would like to do that too. So while Paul was inside his house, Clarabelle went over to Paul's pink and purple ladder. She started to climb higher, higher, and higher until she almost reached the tree branch and was loaded with purple plums. And then, that's as far as the story goes. It doesn't tell us the ending. It doesn't tell what happened to the ladder and Clarabelle. It doesn't tell us what Paul did. Now, let's see if you can help us out with the ending of the story. I'll say the part of the story just before it stops. So listen. While Paul was inside the house, Clarabelle went over to Paul's pink and purple ladder. She started to climb higher and higher and higher until she had almost reached the tree branch that was loaded with purple plums. And then... <laughs> What's your ending? Hmm? <laughs> so listen, grab your workbook, page 62. Looks like this. This is what we're working on right now. 
This picture shows Clarabelle on the ground with a lot of pieces of wood lying around. Now let's think, where did the pieces of wood come from? Get ready? Yes, they're probably from the ladder. Very good, that broke. Now, who is standing in the background? Get ready? Paul is, very good. What do you think he's saying to Clarabelle? Get ready? He's probably asking, what are you doing with my ladder? Now, where was Clarabelle just before this picture took place? Get ready? Yes, she was on the ladder. Very good. Now listen, look at Paul's expression. Look at his face. He looks very mad. He looks protruded. Later, you can fix up the picture. Remember, the color of the rungs and the sides of the ladder. And remember to color those things in that tree. So don't forget, this one does have rules. Remember the color of the rungs of the ladder and the sides. Don't forget the color of the plums. And as always, don't forget that the whole picture must be colored. I want to make sure, you want to make sure that you have colored the tree, you've colored the grass, you've colored Paul and his shirt, the wall behind Paul. Everything must be colored, boys and girls. Okay, and no white spots. Make sure you're, you're turning in quality work. And now go ahead and turn your page over to lesson 62, back part. And we're going to get started with this part of the workbook. So listen, find the arrows, boys and girls. Find the arrows. The arrows show where the girl went. Touch the girl. She's down here. The arrow shows which direction she went first. Touch arrow A. Now listen, what direction is arrow A pointing? Get ready. North, very good. So she went north to get to the house. Which direction did she go? Get ready. North, very good. So write an N in the circle in the house. N stands for north. Now touch the house. The arrow that goes from the house shows where she went next. Touch arrow B. Now think, which direction is she going? Get ready? Yes, she's going east. So she went east from the house to get to the tree. Which direction did she go? Get ready? East, perfect. Now touch the tree. Touch arrow C. Now listen, which direction is arrow C pointing to? Get ready? South, very good. She went south from the tree to get to the car. Now, which direction did she go? Get ready? Yes, she went south, very good. I want you to write an S on the car. S stands for south. Now, boys and girls, touch arrow D. And think, which direction is it pointing? Get ready? East, very good. So I want you to write an E on the bus because E stands for east. Let's go over the arrows again. Touch arrow A. Listen, which direction is that arrow pointing? Get ready? North, very good. Touch arrow B. Which direction is that arrow pointing? Get ready? East, very good. Touch arrow C. 
Which direction is that arrow pointing? Get ready? South, very good. Touch arrow D. Which direction is that arrow pointing? Get ready? East, perfect. Awesome job with that one, boys and girls. Don't forget that you must also color those little pictures on that page, on that half of the page. Touch the bottom part. All right, boys and girls, I want you to touch the bird. The picture that's right below the bird shows what class it is in. Everybody, what class? Get ready? Animals, perfect. So those pictures show that a bird is an animal. Touch the picture of a suitcase. Now listen, one of those pictures shows the class a suitcase is in. Touch the picture that shows what class a suitcase is in. What class is it in? Get ready? Yes, it's a container, very good. So listen, a bird is an animal as a suitcase is a container. Tell me about a bird. Get ready? A bird is an animal, very good. Tell me about a suitcase. Get ready? A suitcase is a container, very good. I want you to draw a line from the suitcase to the class it is in. So boys and girls, we are done with this lesson. Make sure that everything is colored as well. Although those little pictures must be colored, don't forget to connect where the suitcase goes, what class it is in. And don't forget that today, it is Tuesday, so you must submit your workbook 62 lesson so that I can grade it. Okay, boys and girls? And don't forget to stay safe. Have a beautiful day. I will see you again tomorrow. Bye, loves.